Can you please do a podcast with Richard Lang, disciple and close friend of the late Douglas Harding, about the headless way, the westernized version of Dzogchen? I imagine getting a Dzogchen master on a podcast could be tough, and their message a little abstruse. But the way Lang and Harding talk about seeing is thrilling. I don't actually know Richard Lang. I've seen a couple of his videos online, and he seems to make perfect sense on this topic, as did Douglas Harding. I will talk about this practice more, and I'll talk about it in particular in the meditation app I'm building, but it's a little difficult for a podcast. So much of it is visual. The exercises that Douglas Harding recommended, and which I'm sure Lang teaches, are based on changing your relationship to your visual field. And I write about this a little bit in my book, Waking Up. We define our sense of self visually in particular. It's not the only way. You still, if you feel like a self with your eyes open, you're, you're going to feel like a self with your eyes closed. But the experience of selflessness can be very striking with your eyes open because it changes your felt sense of, of subject-object perception with respect to everything that you see. And the way that Harding described this, in particular in his book On Having No Head, is as the experience of headlessness, whereas he, he would look out at his visual field and then he would look for his head. He would recognize that his head was not among the contents of his visual field. And as you listen to me now, you might do this just with your eyes open. Look at whatever it is you can see and notice that your face or your head is not among the things that you see. In fact, where your head is supposed to be, there's just the world. And if you become sensitive to this consideration, if you look for what you presume you are looking out of and fail to find it, you can have a, as the questioner says, a, a thrilling sense of having lost the feeling of subject-object perception. And this itself can become a basis of mindfulness. This can be the thing you pay attention to when you meditate, as opposed to your breath or any other object of attention. And some very powerful changes in your conscious experience can happen the more you do this. But as far as talking about this at length on a podcast, it's a little difficult because much of what needs to be said needs to be indicated visually. And so it, it definitely lends itself more to video than audio. But I will try to be precise about it in my meditation app.